1.1 Tenses. We use tenses to describe when and how actions happen. The verb form changes. Present simple. The Pope lives in Rome. Present continuous. The world is getting hotter. Past simple. Shakespeare wrote plays. Past continuous. We were waiting for the bus. Present perfect. They have known each other since 1994. 1.2. Verbs. There are three classes of verbs in English: auxiliary verbs, modal auxiliary verbs, and full verbs. Auxiliary verbs: do, be, and have. We use these verbs to form tenses and to make questions and negatives. Modal auxiliary verbs: for example, must. Can, should, might, will, and would. We use modal auxiliary verbs with other verbs. They have their own meanings. For example, must expresses obligation. Can expresses ability. Full verbs are all the other verbs in English. For example. Play, run, help, think, want, go, see, eat, enjoy. Here are some examples. Where do you come from? Why are you studying English? Have you ever been to England? It's late, so we must leave now. Pedro's from Spain, so he can speak Spanish. Take your umbrella; it might rain later. I play football on Saturdays. They watch TV every evening. Do, be, and have can also be used as full verbs with their own meanings. Do. I do my washing on Saturdays. She does a lot of business in Eastern Europe. B. We are in class at the moment. They were at home yesterday. Have. He has a lot of problems. They have three children. There are two forms of have in the present. We can use have as a full verb to express possession and some actions. We have breakfast in the kitchen. Do you have a flat? He doesn't have a car. We use have plus got for possession only. We've got a big kitchen. Have you got a flat? She hasn't got a car. One point three. Auxiliary verbs and tenses. We use auxiliary verbs to form tenses. Be and the continuous forms. We use be with the ing form of the verb. To make continuous verb forms, these describe activities which are in progress or only temporary. Present continuous. He's washing his hair. Past continuous. They were going to work. Present perfect continuous. I've been learning English for two years. Continuous infinitive. I'd like to be lying on the beach right now. B, and the passive voice. We use B with a past participle to form the passive. 
Passive sentences move the focus from the subject to the object of the active sentence. Present simple passive. Paper is made from wood. Past simple passive. My car was stolen yesterday. Present perfect passive. The house has been redecorated recently. Passive infinitive. This homework needs to be done tonight. Have and the perfect forms. We use have with a past participle to make perfect verb forms. These describe actions which were completed before a time in the present or past. Present perfect. He has worked in seven different countries. Past perfect. She was crying because she had had some bad news. Perfect infinitive. I'd like to have met Napoleon. One point four. Auxiliary verbs and negatives. To make negatives, we use the auxiliary verb with not or n apostrophe t. If there is no auxiliary verb, we use don't, doesn't, or didn't to make a negative form. He's working. He isn't working. I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. We've seen the play. We haven't seen the play. She works in a bank. She doesn't work in a bank. They like skiing. They don't like skiing. He went on holiday. He didn't go on holiday. With the auxiliaries be and have, we can contract be and have or the not. He's not playing today. He isn't playing today. We're not going to Italy. We aren't going to Italy. I've not read that book. I haven't read that book. But we only have one negative form for I am. We say, I'm not working. Here are some more examples. She's not working at the moment. They're not staying in a hotel. I'm not enjoying this food. I've not been to Mexico. One point five, auxiliary verbs and questions. The word order for questions is different from positive and negative sentences. We use the auxiliary verb, then the subject, then the full verb. Are you playing? If there is no auxiliary verb, we use do, does, or did. She's wearing jeans. What is she wearing? You were born in Paris. Where were you born? Peter's been to China. Has Peter been to China? I know you. Do I know you? He wants ice cream. What does he want? They didn't go out. Why didn't they go out? There is usually no do, does, or did in subject questions. Who wants ice cream? What flavor ice cream do you want? What happened to your eye? What did you do to your eye? Who broke the window? How did you break the window?
1.6 Auxiliary Verbs and Short Answers We often use short answers in spoken English to answer a yes-no question. To make a short answer, we use yes or no and repeat the auxiliary verb. Are you coming with us? Yes, I am. Have you had breakfast? No, I haven't. In the present simple and past simple, we use a form of do or did. Does she like walking? No, she doesn't. Did Mary phone? Yes, she did. Here are some more examples. Is she studying English? Yes, she is. Are they going on holiday? No, they aren't. Has he seen that film? Yes, he has. Do you live in Prague? Yes, we do. Does she know Peter? Yes, she does. Did they enjoy the meal? No, they didn't.